Hey guys, it's Carly. Uh, it's 9th of March and uh, I wanted to make you guys a video blog as promised. Um, first thing I want to talk about is Eesti Laul and I want to thank all of you, oh my god, so much for your support. Um, I didn't get to represent my country, I got a second place. Uh, uh, but um, really the feedback has been like people have been coming up to me and like grown men are like I never cry but I cried and like kids are upset and online people are writing like on newspaper newspapers these like you know opinion stories about it and uh, I have to say for Estonians who are like a very non-expressive nation and um, that is because I think I figured it out. That is because our history, um, we've been through so much. We've been through occupations and diseases and a lot of like poverty, slavery, like all of these things. I think looking at my grandparents, I think it was just kind of like a survival or a coping mechanism uh, for our people. Because really, like people don't have time to think about these fluffy things like spirituality and love and light and whatnot while they're like dying of starvation uh, or like your dad gets taken to Siberia or whatever so I'm actually starting to understand that um, the nature of the Estonian people now however after the Eesti Laul it was it's been crazy it's almost like there's like an uprising happening and I'm getting so much positive energy and so much love I've never felt love like this coming from this country so I want to thank all of you. You guys give me so much strength. Um, I did my best. It was two months of just a month and a half of like just the most intense work on every detail of the show. Um, just incredible people showed up to support and be a part of the team. And <clears throat> overall, it was a really, really cool um, epic experience and uh, I really gave like 150% of myself so I'm I'm very satisfied with with what uh, with what we did and what my team brought to the table huh <sighs> what else uh, the positive side for all the moon babies uh, when it comes to this whole thing is that I will now have um, much more time to focus on my album so that's going to be my priority from now on uh, it was pushed aside for a minute and uh, also thank you guys for supporting and, and for really waiting for it so wholeheartedly um, I can't wait to share this material with you I have you know most of the songs written basically I think all the songs are written uh, just tweaking need to start working on the artwork I really have some songs that I want to do videos with anyway you don't have to worry about um, anything because I will keep releasing things as I have this year. I'm sure you've noticed I released like four songs in a year with three of them with, with visuals, actually four. Spirit Animal, that live visual really took. Um, I'm, I'm not going to make a music video for it, I think, because my performance cost me a lot of money. Uh, the TV station or the, the arena, um, they didn't give us a budget, so it's really... Um, on the performer, you know, to, to make it work and to kill it, so uh, that was a big, um, how to say, yeah, it took a, a lot of resources to put to put on what you uh, saw. I'm back in LA, I've been here for two days, it's gorgeous outside, look at my view. Uh, I have these trees outside my window, which I love, especially when it rains. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be here, be here for a couple months and, and really dig deep on the album. Uh, get settled, I already took my favorite Bikram yoga class. Uh, I go to this amazing studio here and it just really gives me a lot of peace. Uh, it's good to see my friends. It's good to be back in my little apartment because sometimes living out of a suitcase really can get quite draining. And um, <clears throat> what's going on inside me these days? <sighs> I think the wave that I'm on right now is kind of like the wave of joy. 
And I was talking in my last blog about the path of least resistance. Um, I've always been a big fighter and because I always felt like everything came really hard, everything came, you know, everything was really hard to achieve. And I'm kind of getting in a place mentally where I don't want to believe anymore that great things take a lot of hardship. Uh, I'm kind of in this way where I'm mostly interested in like joy and simplicity and pleasure, meaning um, everything should be a pleasure, you know, like making your coffee. I have a really cool mug that I got over Halloween, which is brew. Uh, everything should be pleasure, you know, your morning coffee should be pleasure when you cook for, your, for yourself. Um, and somebody just texted me and said, oh, because I said, oh, I want to, like, learn to cook so much better. I want to, like, learn to kind of preserve vegetables and, like, make my own kimchi and, like, make these things. And they were like, yeah, that's how you charge it with magic. And I was like, oh, my God, that's so true. Because even, like, the witches that I know, the witch, a real witch will always cook for you because they'll nurture you with, with their own energy. And... Um, there's even a, a famous witch in Estonia that says that, like, even like for for her man, she always cooks herself, and that they don't even go outside because she doesn't want like other energies infusing like his energy, which is really interesting. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? Jesus. Yeah, to just to to take pleasure in things, you know. Uh, to cook with love, to uh, clean with love, to be with your friends with love uh, and just bring as much joy and pleasure and positivity to like every little situation that you have and it's like, it's a, it's a commitment, it's a practice but I think the easiest way to look at it is just to kind of take it day by day and to say wake up in the morning and count your blessings, say kind of say really think of all the things that you're grateful for raise the vibration and um and make a commitment and say uh, i don't need to i'm not a perfect human being i fail sometimes sometimes i'm in a shit mood and i just want to punch everybody in the fucking face but today i'm gonna choose to do my best and today i'm gonna just do the right thing do the kind thing do the positive thing uh, when I feel the urge to gossip about someone, don't, you know, because that's not, that's not good vibes. <clears throat> yes, sometimes it's nice to talk about things, but you know what I mean, like, just make the commitment for one day to kind of do the right thing, and then the next day, make the commitment again, and then see how actually, eventually, I really believe in this, see how actually, eventually, um, your brain kind of gets rewired to think a different way, to act a different way, and it's almost like, I don't know, when it comes to talking about other people too, I always really try to not talk badly about people, because first of all, um, you don't need that energy of negativity in your space. Second of all, just because you had a bad experience with someone, and of course to your best friend you'll say, like, don't work with this person, they're an asshole, yeah, okay. But also give the other person a chance to have changed you know what I mean to have been changed so maybe they're not that person anymore so when you go and you poison that situation for that person with somebody else then they don't really get the opportunity to reinvent themselves and I think that everybody deserves an opportunity to reinvent themselves so yeah uh, I've been really good at doing video blogs now so I will definitely do more and um, Again, thank you so much for your support. It's been a beautiful journey. And uh, I'm off now to uh, really start focusing on the album, which is very, very exciting. I love you guys. Integrity, love, unity. Bye.